trying to celebrate the new year just like I normally do pre-pandemic. Because, you know, pandemic, we're going on two years here. Last year was kind of weathered down. This year, it's, it should, everything's going back to normal. All, many of the stores are reopened. We have a lot of new stores that have opened this year that replace the ones that have gone out of business. And it looks more prosperous. I mean, let's have a regular New Year's here. I mean, not with COVID. I would normally go with my extended family, but we can't because COVID. So we're staying at home. We're still being safe and eating good food for the New Year. I currently run the Chinese Freemasons Lion Dance Troop. So we're doing a lot of lion dancing, more lion dance groups on the street, more businesses open, a lot of festive performances. I think Tiger represents energy and courage, things like that. I guess it just means like uh, prosperity and happiness to me personally. Um, I'm actually born in 1986, so it's a special year for myself, I guess. And, but yeah, that's what it means to me. Yeah. It's like, like you know how Tiger's sort of ferocious, and like I guess like behind like Tiger's roar, there's like a lot of like power. Uh, I think like there's gonna be like a lot more, uh, I guess like fortuitous events, because uh, like, it brings a year of luck, a lot of health as well. Yeah. Um, so like normally like my family is like pretty far apart. A lot of my family, like a lot of my extended family are going to come together and we're just able to celebrate Chinese New Year together. It makes you cherish the small moments you have with your family and, and the small moments you have of good health and happiness. With friends and family we're going to have some tokguk which is a Korean dish and we're going to have some Chinese uh, pineapple cakes with our family too.